Hey, what is up, guys? We are back. And I have some more ear raping for you. Oh, my bad. Trigger word. <laughs> I am so sorry. But yeah, we have more content to talk about. Today, I will be diving into Pride Month and why it is cringe. Now, um, people of the LGB community, they are all a little, a little weird. Not to say we're not all weird as a society. We all have our, <laughs> have our, um, cons inconsistencies, I should say. Gay people are especially a little on the loopy side. Now, like, <laughs> I have proof of that evidence in the Pride Month parade. Now, this is very, uh, this is debatable, a debatable topic. Because I don't exactly trust it. Because, you know, these gay people, they have these parades. And they go around. A lot of them naked. Like, not even fully clothed. Like, how would you feel? <laughs> if you, if you like, okay, so. Let's say your friend invites you to one of these pride parades, right? And then, you, as like a 25 year old man. Let's say you have a 3 year old child. Let's say a gay man is walking around with his genitals out. How would you feel if that gay man with his genitals out passed by your child? Simple solution. Don't bring children to pride parades. Okay, I recently had a family member who took their kid to a pride parade. And I'm just like, how does your kid not get traumatized? Society is so crazy. But yeah, that's all I have to say about Pride Parades. Besides that, I don't really care if people walk around nude. I mean, as long as the law is okay with it, just keep the children out of it. Like, we already got somebody like Keffels going around hyping up HRT, trying to transition children while they're still, like, in their, in their growing phase. Like, in their teenage years. And like, oh, you gotta be your true self. You gotta transition to this or that. And what if, like, later down in life, they change their mind? What are they going to do now? You just basically ruined their life. Be like, oh, when I was a child, I thought girls, I thought boys were icky, and I was a boy, so I transitioned. And now, I actually like, I actually like women. So now we have a trans woman who is also gay. then that's okay. It's perfectly fine. But somebody who... Un... <laughs> un... Knowing of... The implications of changing your... Identity, your whole entire being. The way God intended. It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm not transphobic or anything. But, you know. Just like... Don't promote this shit to minors. And then, just, just promote it to people who know what they're doing. 18 and up, I mean, some, some of them are still fucking stupid. You've seen society and how much brain rot, brain rot their fucking is. But, you know, people can make their own decisions at that point. Because you're an, you're an adult. You've made your own decisions. If not, 21. 21, you can definitely make your own decisions. You're old enough to drink, you're old enough to change your body in whatever way you want. Now, let's get into another topic about the LGBT community. And I'm not just saying those limited uh, letters. There's a lot of letters in, the, in there that I keep forgetting. And I'm going to mix it up, and then I'm going to feel bad when I fuck it up, and then people are going to call me out for it. So, you know, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to keep saying LGBT or LGB. Sorry if I don't include you. But yeah, um, let, let's get to the targeting of straight men. Now, the trans 
uh, not just the trans, the, the LGB community wants the downfall of straight men, the downfall of the patriarchy, the downfall of traditional families. You've seen it all over Twitter. <laughs> You've seen it. And if you haven't, then let me let me inform you. Okay, there there are there are LGB people on Twitter who say the craziest shit like all men should die, all straight men should die, and that shit's just so funny <laughs> and sad at the same time because they're wishing death upon billions of people, billions of men. Who society have now villainized for being men. For just existing. We're not all rapists. We're not all creeps. We're not all pedophiles. We <coughs> we have our own thoughts, feelings, and emotions too. And we're not all going to transition just to fit your narrative. That's not... <laughs> that's not what being in the LGB is about. It's about accepting people, no matter who they are, no matter who they decide to be. I believe it's <laughs> that was the message, but clearly some people are <laughs> not getting it. And that's okay. You have your opinions. You believe all straight men should die? Who am I to say otherwise? <laughs> I'm a straight man. <laughs> I have no rights. I'm, I'm a straight white man in 2024. I have no rights. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. The good parts. I've seen a lot of people. A lot of good LGB people. They're good lesbians out there. They're good gay people out there. They're good trans. They're good asexuals. I know a lot of people who... Well, I knew a lot of people who were like that. And they're all cool. The people I knew at least were pretty cool. I must say. I'm a... <laughs> I'm not transphobic. I believe that people who... People should, uh... Be whoever they want to be. And decide who they who they want to be for the rest of their lives. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about like gay people and you know I support the LGB. Let me get that very clear. I support all of them. But if you shove it down my throat and if you claim that the patriarchy should die, let me remind you. The patriarchy is why you exist. Anyways, thank you for listening to me. To my to talk, to me being stupid. If you like what I said, if you if you want to see more videos, subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.